So I'm Marco Perry, and I'm a founder of Pensa, which is a design and invention firm in Brooklyn. And we created the DIYer. Uh, one thing that we do a lot in our shop is use a 3D printer. And what we notice is that it's very good at volumes. And when we use laser cutters, they're really good at cutting planes. But one thing about uh, either of those is that they don't really work very well whenever you're trying to create lines. And when we were making a quarter scale mock-up of a furniture, each uh, leg of that chair was very weak, very expensive, took a lot of time to use. So we decided that we really needed a line printer, and so we created a desktop CNC uh, wire bender, and it could do wire or tubing. And I'll show you how it works. So if you create a vector file, you can drag and drop it into our software and it uh, gives you, an, it automatically starts programming it. Right now it's giving me a lot of warnings that I have a lot of little bending spots. So you could do some adjustment on size or scale. You could change um, the resolution. You can have it recognize vertices. You could choose your material. Right now we're gonna run uh, eighth inch galvanized steel. And then you just, when you're ready to go, you can hit bend. So we'll hit bend. So what happens is the machine homes itself. It feeds the wire through these feeds and then the pin will um, push the wire in, in, into the shape. So you don't have to use any programming. You don't have to understand G-code or anything. It's really meant to be a drag and drop as simple as uh, uh, let's say a printer driver. So right over here, we're printing the star. So it's, it's stepping its way along the wire. The, right now we're bending steel, but you can bend aluminum, you can bend brass, you can bend, uh, we have cold bend plastic. And a lot of people have been wanting to use it for both fabrication or prototyping, education, or, or short runs. And part of the reason is, if you wanted to do this, aside from doing it by hand, you wanted to use a, um, a industrial size equipment, that equipment, costs a lot of money. Uh, the, maybe the cheapest machines we were able to find were in the, you know, maybe $100,000 range. And in order to use a fabricator that uses those machines, you have to do runs of maybe a, a few thousand pieces. So instead of doing that, if you have something where you need maybe anything where between one and a thousand pieces, it's a lot easier to just use your desktop fabrication. Then you just pull it out. Clip it, and you got your star. Good match.